story we have been following today is the charge against Bengals running back Joe Mixon. It's a story we brought you as breaking news last night here at 6 o'clock. There was a major development today. Christian Hauser has been following this all day. So Christian, catch us up to speed on all that went down in that courtroom today. Well, Kyle, I was in that courtroom this afternoon when the charge against Mixon was dropped, and it was done at the request of city prosecutors. Now, we just learned minutes ago that Cincinnati police sent me this information saying because Mixon is a high profile person, the investigating officer should submit the case for review before filing any charges. Now, the investigating officer did not follow that directive and filed the charge anyways. Now, this goes on to say that today's dismissal will allow further investigation of the alleged incident. Now, here's what we know. Court documents show that Mixon was accused of pointing a gun at, at a woman and saying you should be popped in the face and I should I should shoot you now. The police can't get me. The incident is alleged to have happened at the corner of 3rd and Walnut downtown around January 21st. That's the day the Bengals left a flight in Buffalo to take on the bills. An arrest warrant was issued for Mixon yesterday, but it was never executed. Here's what prosecutor Amber Daniel told the judge as to why the charge needed to be dropped. We're requesting dismissal because we need additional investigation before we would move forward with this case. The Cincinnati Police Department were able to get in contact with the victim. She understands the need to dismiss this case and the potential that we could refile this at a later date. She does still want to go forward with this charge if we do decide to refile it. Now, one of the delays in the charge being dropped was the judge in this case wanted to make sure that the prosecutor's office complied with Marcy's law. Now, that requires victims to be notified of any changes, including the charge being dropped. And that's what she heard the prosecutor referring to when she said Cincinnati police talked with this alleged victim and let her know about the push to drop the charge. And the victim told police that she understood why it needed to happen. But the prosecutor does go on to say that this victim wants to press charges after that further investigation is complete. So while the charge is to gone today, that doesn't mean it won't be refiled at a later time. For Local 12 News, I'm Christian Hauser.